ustedes que son famosos de Zetsu. Zetsu. I can do this. Come on, Max, you can do this. What damn wire do I cut? Cut the pink wire. There is no damn pink one. Oh, well, you said you wanted to die. Not today, I don't. This is the story of a young man called Taylor Hawkins. Taylor's life was different from everyone else's, as everyone else would get up in the morning about 8 o'clock to go to work and do their lives. Taylor would get up at about 5 o'clock in the afternoon, most of the time when it was dark. And then watch primetime TV all day and dream of becoming an action hero. After watching his favourite programmes like The A-Team and Airwolf, he'd always try to get his life on track. He even once joined the military. But it seems every time he thought of doing such a thing with his life, he'd get sidetracked by television. <laughs> and not to mention the odd gay dance in the living room. However, on this day, it was different. As he was watching the A team, he was falling asleep and had a very weird dream. Your name is Max Killington. You're a deadly assassin and we desperately need your help. Come to the field of screens at 3 o'clock and bring cheese. Taylor felt very different. He felt fitter. He felt stronger. Had he entered some kind of TV dimension? The only way to find out was to go to the field of screams at 3 o'clock. Evening, gentlemen. Hmm? What cheese did you bring on? It's uh, uh cheddar. Hmm. Okay. Gentlemen, thank you all for turning up today. Those of you who went to James Bond's birthday bash last night will especially know what I'm talking about. Way too many martinis. Shaking us dirt. I don't give a fuck. I was pissed. If I could interrupt you ladies for just a second, we've got a world to serve. Yet again, that pain in the ass, Andre X, is planning on being an attention-seeking twat after stealing our laptop from MI5. Random scene change! The fuck is up all these scene changes then? Yeah, anyway. How the fuck did I get their hands on her? Actually, it was partly our fault. Because he was supposed to break in and get it, but somebody left it on a train. Look, I said I was sorry, I had a brilliant go on solitaire, I wanted to take it home and finish it off, but I left on the bloody seat, alright? Ah, oh, dickhead. <laughs> Says you, Mr. Where's the Al Qaeda dossier? That was like ages ago. I, I put in for two seconds, I have a fucking Amazon guy's dirty hooks all over it. Gentlemen, we really have to find this laptop, or the world's pretty fucked, but more importantly, I got money on this, just gotta find it. In general, you and Max on this one. Alright, nice, but. Fuck is happening to me. You snap over here, act like you've never done a secret mission before. But I've never been on a sh 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 little puppy. Right, look, Max, just don't worry about it. Just fuck up and just sort it out and I'll be fine in the end. 
You know what? Yeah. I've always dreamed of doing this. Fuck it. I'll enjoy it. That's a spirit champ. Come on, we'll go see my informant. Who's your informant? Velcro Pete. Right, let's go.